All right, everyone, it's Mr. John from AK Dragonfish 3D. Today, we're back at Cushman. Today's video is all about catching cook. But first, we gotta go catch some, so let's get to it. We're back in my kitchen, and we're gonna cook these fish up. I'm gonna show you three different ways that Mr. John, me, this guy, one each, cooks up trout. So here we go. All right, so first order of business, cutting board, fillet knife, need those. We're gonna need those, paper towels. I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350. Then we have our six beautiful rainbow that we caught today. Okay, so for the first way, it's really simple. We're just gonna bake, right? That's a pan, pan, right? Now my preference, it'd be different for you, but my preference is to, to take off the heads and the collars. So I'd get my trusty fillet knife, and that would be the oven preheating. Perfect timing. Take the pan, I hear the cooking spray on the bottom, and I put the fish in the pan. Fish in the pan, like so. And then from there, from there I would season it, right? But me, I'm, I'm fairly simple. Simple when it comes to seasoning my fish. So I just take it and I sprinkle it on the insides, a little bit of pepper, right? Garlic powder, good old fashioned garlic powder. Okay. Sprinkle on the inside. Okay. Some minced onion, some onion. Uh, I prefer onion powder, but this is all I got right now. And then some good old fashioned seasoning salt. And just a light dab in there. In there, and we call it. And into the oven we go. Into the oven we go. And I'll put them in there for about an hour. The next way I like to do it is the good old campfire method. So I'm out in the field, I'm in the woods, camping, I'm cooking. So the only addition is some aluminum foil. Some aluminum foil. Yeah. And I take said fish. Okay. And I do I do the same thing, right? So I season the inside. This time I don't cut the head off. That's personal preference. Personal preference, I guess. You know, for the sake of for the sake of the the demonstration, I can I can head and collar it. A survival center type scenario, I wouldn't cut the head off. I'd actually eat the muscle off the head, and probably suck the eyeball. But for tonight, we're not doing that. And then roll it up in the roll it up in the oven right? One, two, three, two. Okay, and put them in the oven for an hour. About an hour, give or take. So, so we got the open fish and the campfire fish. Now, in a campfire scenario, I would just put these in the fire and then give it about 30, 40 minutes. So for the last method, we got a plate and frying pan because we're gonna fillet and fry. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna assume you know how to fillet a trout or do the finesse fillet, so I'm not going to explain it. If you want me to explain it, I can do a future video. Drop a comment and let me know. Now we do the other one. So Delio. Again, I'm doing this you know, fast and dirty. If you like a detailed explanation of what, what the hey hey I'm doing, drop a comment. Let me know. I really do appreciate those that come and be. Those that watch, those that are interested in fishing in the interior of Alaska. And there you have it. Four fillets. 
Now I know what you're thinking. But Mr. John, what about the pin bones? Well, the pin bones, you know, it's a matter of preference. There's tiny little bones that run right there, but they'll soften up almost to the point of being mush when I fry these bad boys. Nothing fancy, nothing glorious. I'm going to share these with the dogs, so a little salt, a little pepper, I'm trying to avoid anything else. I mean, this is pretty, this is a pretty seriously straightforward concept. You can use whatever oil you want. I'm going to skin that. And as you notice, it tightens up. Then it hits the, then it, it hits the fire. The best. Now, I give my fish an over easy type of cook, right? So if I fry an egg, over easy. Once it hits a certain point, I'll flip it. And some people will, will fry their fish sunny side up and they'll just let it cook like this, cook like that, until it's cooked all the way through. Right before I flip them, I the Top of the fish, a quick spritz of oil. Just an even dog on it, right? So I'll cook it on this side for just a few minutes. Like it's been about two minutes, like this. And then we'll just put them back over. And gives them a nice, it cooks it all the way through and gives it that nice golden look to it. We'll let it go another another three or four minutes this way to, to crispen up the to give the skin a little more crispiness. And here you have it, fried fish. One fillet for each doggo. Now, one additional thing I'll do, which goes really well, is I'll leave the oil as is, right? pan as is off so the fish oil isn't one not in there but I'll take a couple potatoes and I'll chop them really fine and fry them up in there all right dog boys you watch your fishy there's my sidekicks there's Casimir sit yeah hold on Casimir and my drawer do the drawer being all nice and pretty set show politeness oh Casimir's gonna come over to her spot we'll sit sit Good girl, there's your fishy. All right, with the potatoes done, we now have fried fish and potatoes. One of my more enjoyable ways of cooking and eating trout. Now it is time to re retrieve the fish from the oven. It has been about an hour, a little over an hour. We'll pull these bad mamma jammas out. And there we have it. Two beautifully baked fish. Their tongs first. Now let's open them. Let's open one of these up. And again, this will be a lot more charred if we were doing this over a campfire. The skin is peeled right off. You know, all that beautiful. And it just comes right off. Same is true over here with the fish that we just baked. The skin is crispy on the outside. To summarize, we've cooked trout three ways this three ways this evening. First, we fried trout, and we've kind of made a side of potatoes with it, but we fried the trout. We've filleted it, seasoned it, and fried it. And then we dropped the trout, just cut its head off and, and the collar off, and just dropped it as is in a pan in the oven. Right? Oven 350 an hour. I used an oven because I don't have a campfire right now, but this is how you would prepare it for campfire. Again, 350 for an hour. So that concludes my cooking episode for Anchor Dragfish 3D. I'm Mr. John. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Let me know if you want to see more of me cooking trout or fish or whatever. Because I love fish. So, thank you for watching. Y'all have a good night.